Hey guys, have you ever dated someone and you find that they seemingly do not want you to spend any time with anyone else but them? Whether it be your friend, relative, father, mother or even your own kids? And whenever they do seem okay with you spending time with someone else, they want to tag along? Well, today we will be covering a story from the Jamaica Star where a man discovers that his lady friend is so jealous that she does not want him to. Welcome one. Welcome all to Basic Principles YouTube channel where we help both men and women to understand the basic principles of human nature and how such nature affects life and relationships. So, they can be better equipped to build themselves up and form healthier bonds with others. Also, we will be covering some crazy stories on the internet out of Jamaica and around the world. So, people, today we have a story here titled, My Lady Friend is Very Jealous. For more juicy stories like this, please subscribe to the channel, we post videos daily. Without further ado, let's hear why this man believes that his lady friend is jealous. Is she just jealous or is she one of those crazy ladies willing to do anything to get this man's attention? Anyway, the letter to the pastor reads. Dear Pastor. I am a 40 years old man and I have two children. I am not involved with their mother anymore. But I have a new girlfriend and we are living together. I am not always at the house because my job keeps me away. But, the boys are there and we have a day's worker. So, my lady friend does not have to wash for them. The boys have a television in their room. I make sure I put one in there so that they can look at sport and whatever they like to see. My lady friend is always complaining that the boys are too noisy. She does not have children. Whenever I am at home and the boys are there, I go into the room with them and enjoy what they are looking at and my lady friend says whenever I am home, I am ignoring her. But, these children do not live with me, they are living with their mother, so I try to spend quality time with them when they are with us. Sometimes, I take them out and my lady friend wants to come with us, but I refuse to take her because I believe as a father I should have time with my boys alone. This crazy woman, one day questioned the boys where I took them and whether I picked up a woman. They found that funny and they told me about it and I was very angry because since I took her into my house and living with her, I have not disrespected her in that way. And if I wanted to go out with another woman, I would not do so while the boys are staying at our house. This woman has declared that she was only joking with the boys when she asked them if I picked up a woman. I do not have time for another woman. I am working hard to give my two sons an education. Their mother is seeing another man and that is her business. She wanted my boys to call this man daddy. They objected to it and told her they only have one daddy and that is me. My lady friend is very jealous of the type of relationship that the boys have with me. What do you think of this relationship? MB Dear MB Your lady friend, as you called her, is jealous. She probably believes that you do not spend enough time with her. But, I commend you for spending quality time with your sons. They will always remember that you were not too busy for them. When they are not with you, your lady friend and yourself can spend lots of time together. She shouldn't have questioned your sons, but please do not hold that against her. Her jealousy got the better of her. She probably believes that you were using your sons as a pass to meet with another woman but forgive her for her stupidity. Everybody makes mistakes and that was a big mistake she made. Take good care of your sons and take good care of your lady friend. Pastor. This might sound crazy, but jealousy can be a good thing in relationships. That is, if it is healthy jealousy. According to Seeger de Geer, for some individuals, Feeling a sense of jealousy can be beneficial to their relationships if it motivates them to stay connected and build a stronger bond with their partner. However, when jealousy takes a turn for the worse, it actually destroys bonds and fuels anger. So, guys, if you find yourself with a jealous partner, there is a saying that goes like this, if you cannot be good, be careful. And if you are being good, but they are still jealous, as it is said in Jamaica, tech way yourself. On the other hand, if you are the jealous partner, God help your partner. Wait, wait, wait. Do not leave as yet, we have a two for one special today. So, 
take a 30 second stretch and let us dive into another story where a wife escaped her ABUSIVE husband only to let us find out what happened. The letter to the pastor reads, Dear Pastor, I am 52 years old and I still read your column. When I can't get to buy the star I feel like something is missing. I read your column sometimes online, but I prefer to read it in the star. I did not know that I would have to write to you and tell you about my problems. I was married and the union produced four children, but for many years my husband ABUSED me, and I used to tell him that I was going to leave him, but he used to say that he is the only man who would want me. As my children grew up, my boys stood up against their father and told him that if he didn't stop HITTING me, they would BEAT him. One of them is very outspoken, so his father didn't like him. And when his father told him that he should leave, he said he would not leave unless I am leaving because he did not want his father to continue to ABUSE me. There came a time when my husband and my two sons almost knocked two fists so, I knew the time had come for me to move on. This house is mine, I bought it through housing trust. This man doesn't have a cent in it. So after I left for six months, I went back after he pleaded with me to come back. I filed for the divorce while I was still in the house but we were not sleeping together. I had a good lawyer on my case. He did not believe that I would divorce him, but I had the courage to do so. One of his brothers encouraged him to leave. Now he is living in a little board house on a piece of land he leased. My main reason for writing to you is that I have fallen in love again. This time, it is with a 60-year-old man who is a widower. He has his children and like myself, they are grown. This man sleeps with me at least once per week. All my children like him. He proposed to me and gave me a very expensive ring. I threw away the ring my husband gave me. But my children said I should not have thrown it away. This ring that this man has given to me is very expensive. I asked him why he bought such an expensive ring and he said I deserve it because I make him feel happy. He is an educated man and he is still working. He told me that I do not have to work but I am only 52 years old and I am in charge of my own business. Two of my children are teachers. The son that my former husband doesn't like does construction and the other is a mechanic. This man is eager for us to get married because he wants to go back to his church. He was a deacon there. Although I love him, I feel scared sometimes because of the way my ex-husband treated me. So I am asking you for your advice. BT Dear BT if you are in love with this man and he is in love with you, and you have good reasons to believe that he will make you very happy, accept his proposal. You have already accepted his engagement ring, move towards the other level and that is marriage. It is natural that you would feel scared because of the bad treatment you suffered at the hand of your ex-husband. But as you know, not all men ABUSE women. And I doubt that this man would ABUSE you. And I am sure he knows that your sons would stand up for you just as they did when you and their father were married. Your lawyer would advise you about the division of property if there should be any. Your new man wants to serve the Lord. He is a church man, so get married to him so that his conscience will be free. Before both of you say that I do, Make sure that you go through a series of premarital counseling, and I further suggest that you tell your lawyer that I suggest that you do a prenuptial agreement. Though everything seems to be all right now, you can never tell what will happen in the future. And if this man is wise, he will not object to a prenuptial agreement. I wish you well. Pastor. I am not sure how some women are so strong to withstand an ABUSIVE man. But, I am glad this woman eventually left him because he is not a man if he does the opposite of protecting his wife. It does not sound like he always has been a walking red flag. Or, perhaps BT was truly blinded by love. In any case, she did the right thing by leaving and she eventually found love again. We have come to the end of the video, did you enjoy these stories? What advice would you have given MB to deal with his jealous lady friend, or give BT to deal with her ex-husband? Let us know in the comment section. Also, subscribe, like and share this video with someone who will like this content. And as always guys, thank you for watching, catch you in the next one, love.